All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly video predictions for next week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 7. That's for episode 12. It's called Say Yes. And spoiler warning as usual, if you guys have not seen episode 11 for the Walking Dead television series yet, uh, Hostiles and Calamities. I did my review for it earlier. It's in the channel. You guys can go ahead and check it out. Just click the channel name to the bottom left and uh, you can watch my review on it. I thought it was an okay episode. You know, run in the mill, kind of okay, average for Walking Dead, uh, sanctuary type uh, episode. So check that out if you guys haven't seen that review yet, and be sure to write your uh, comments uh, on how you felt uh, the episode was. So for episode 12, say yes. This one actually looks really good. I really like the promo for this one at the end of uh, episode 11. Uh, we're getting back to see Rick and the usual survivors again. Rick and Michonne, it looks like, from the uh, previews. And of course, you've got Rosita in there, and you've got some others there as well, too. Rosita's got a lot of time this season so far, which is something that I did not anticipate to see so much of uh, her this season but uh, yeah, I think it's been good although some people are complaining that they're finding she's getting a little bit too uh, bitchy um, <laughs> so uh, that is something and as we're going to be seeing even more over this episode I can certainly see uh, those complaints uh, you know getting ready to uh, be uh, launched once we see uh, episode 12 so the description for this one reads the group scavenges for supplies back in Alexandria Alexandria someone must make a morally challenging decision so, uh, say yes. So, say yes, of course, is what uh, Rick says to uh, the junkyard group, the scavengers, the junkies, uh, when uh, Jadis, uh, you know, tells him, you know, say yes, and then he, he says yes to the 50-50 deal. Um, so, of course, we've got Rick and the others that kind of head out, and they're, they're looking for more supplies, and uh, we get to see some of it in the uh, the sneak peeks. Um, as far as the morally challenging decision, uh, people have predicted for a little while now that maybe uh, Tara will tell Rick this week coming up or the week after when he arrives back with uh, Michonne about the ocean side. So they'll finally, you know, know about the ocean side and go there to, um, you know, get... Um, get guns and, and see if they'll get the ocean side to join up with them. So I think that's correct. I think that's a really good prediction and I think that's what we're going to see. So um, the next on, which is like a promo trailer, um for the episode. So you've got Rick and Michonne in a van. They're kind of driving. We should get back. And then Rick says, just a little more, okay? Uh, looks like they're having fun. They're kind of smiling, happy, which is uh, good to see uh, in positive uh, spirits. Uh, you've got the carnival. Um, so you see a carnival with a whole bunch of different walkers. Really cool. There's one lady who's got like a, a female zombie with long hair uh, and glasses. It looks like a water bloater or something, which is pretty funny because she's like uh, really big, which is always fun to see. So uh, excited to see zombies, of course. Uh, uh, zombie apocalypse should see lots of zombies and that makes me think did we see a single one episode 11 had the uh, zombie decaying at the fence but there certainly wasn't a lot in the way of zombies so they're there but they're kind of there this episode they're really there so that looks good i always enjoy seeing zombies in the zombie apocalypse series of course uh rosita and then you've got um she says, Rick and Michonne want guns, more people, more time. I can't just wait. Uh, I can't see in the promo exactly who she's talking to, but see like a red uh, flannel uh, plaid type uh, shirt. So um, it looks like maybe Tara to me because we know she was kind of arguing with her before, but it could be somebody else too. Uh, although I think that's what Tara was uh, wearing, something like that. So uh, Rosita, we also see her kind of somewhere. So it looks like she's headed out on her own as well too. Be interesting to see if anyone goes with her uh, looking for supplies. Uh, and then we've got a car escape scene where they go up through the top of the car as zombies surround it. They kind of go through, which looks pretty cool. You've got one where at the carnival, uh, Rick is kind of climbing up on top of something. And uh, you've got Michonne who yells, uh, Rick, it looks like maybe a close call or something. And then you've got the line, it's about a future. So that was from one of the trailers we saw before. So... This part looks really good. I really like the uh, the promo. And again, links will be in the description so you guys can check both of these out. The other one is the sneak peek. So you see Rick and Michonne, and they look like they're at uh, they're at a fence near some kind of school or something. And you've got uh, an army zombie that comes up that's got a, a gun that he's holding. Uh, it looks like some kind of high power rifle or something. Uh, something serious happened here. Uh, these rounds are serious, Rick says, and uh, there might be some serious uh, guns here too. Uh, so I do like kind of Rick's attitude, Michonne's kind of attitude. Right Right now they look like they're pretty happy and they're pretty positive uh, considering what's happened after the first half which I actually think is good because um, it's good to see characters happy it's good to see them happy it makes us happy as viewers uh, to see that so it's really cool it looks like it should be a pretty good episode you know out searching for supplies trying to find what they can and um, you know 
predicting that eventually, uh, maybe near the end of this episode, Tara will tell Rick about the uh, the Oceanside and Michonne, and they will decide that it's worth a shot, and they'll go there. Then maybe episode 13, we'll have some other stuff happening with other communities, maybe possibly catch up with Daryl again, which would be cool to see. Uh, no signs of him in this episode, and no signs of Negan or Eugene or anybody we saw in episode 11 in this one, or Dwight. So uh, most likely going to be a Rick and Michonne-centered uh, episode with Rosita in there, too, and the other uh, Alexandrian. So very cool stuff. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this episode. The carnival looks really cool. Can't wait to see it. Uh, looks pretty good. And um, let me know what you thought, of course, in the review video about uh, episode 11. Also, uh, write a comment below for the q and I might do a Q&A tonight, either that or have one ready for you guys tomorrow uh, at noon. So heads off for that. So leave your Q&A questions below in the comments so I can grab them and uh, include them, uh, either for episode 11 or predictions for episode 12, no problem. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share, you can favorite if you're new, and you want to subscribe, bottom left to subscribe. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys again soon for a Q&A. As always, it's Trev. Same peace. Later, guys. See you soon. Just subscribe somehow.